Hello you fine folks, and welcome to another episode of Fire Emblem Path of Radiance Hard Mode Iron Man! Yeah! Now in this episode, we are doing Roadside Battle, and this is the first chapter, I think, where people have a realistic chance of dying. It's the first one where failure is actually a potential threat. And... <laughs> oh boy, Soren's here! And Soren is... Soren's an, an, an interesting character. But it may be worth seeing him first. <laughs> Gather the troops, it's a bit formal for a mercenary troop of like... Eight people. Oh, there's Soren. Now, can you guess what class he is? <laughs> <laughs> okay, looks like we're needed. Apparently something huge has happened. We try training with an unnamed mercenary group, which I don't think they ever name, so... Oh, war! Well, it's a good thing we're not serving the crown, then. It means we can support if it's winning. Let's see. Oh, we got the world map with surpri with nice ominous music. You don't actually get to see the world map uh, in very often in this game, so it's quite nice to be able to see it. So yes, so the dot on the left is where the ground mercenaries are, and the dot on the right is the capital of Crimea, which is the country we're in. Sora was at Mabel. <laughs> hmm. Now, can you guess which side is the bad guys in this game? Just a hunch. Who is the bad guy in this game? Can you guess? On the plus side, wartime is a fantastic time for a mercenary group. Cha-ching! Yes, wisdom, valor, and courage does not equal military organization and tactics, unfortunately. Yeah, I think I would solo with this one. I'm... <laughs> God damn, so is a bastard. So... <laughs> Enough debates. Wait, Ike's in charge? I don't have the same reaction as Ike. Good God. <laughs> God damn it, we still can't use boy! God damn it! Alright, at least uh Gatchery gets an easy level up here. Oh boy! Got the Regal Sword! I will ditch that eight health iron sword. But the Regal Sword is effectively Ike's rapier. And by that I mean, in most Fire Emblem games, the main character begins with a rapier. Whether it's Roy, Elu, Elwood, um, 
the our Erica up to crawl. They all start with rapiers. Um, although this one has more in common with the Manny Cassie, which Lynn has from just uh, Fire Emblem, because I normally call it Fire Emblem 7, seventh in the series, which you can get on Virtual Console. I would recommend it. It's a very good game. It's a good way to get yourself into the series as well. It's probably the easiest one too. Um, but the idea is the weapon has the power of a steel weapon, the high, but less weight, so it's easier to dodge with it. A bit more crit chance, and it does extra damage to armored and mounted units. So if I say attack Titania or Gatry, it would do way more damage against them. <laughs> Reese giving Ike some uh, some encouragement. I think Ike really needs it in this scenario. I mean, this is hardly the A squad. <laughs> There's bodies everywhere. Good God. Only, so only Soren would be so uh, calm about that. Hmm. Ooh. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> are, can, are you can, sure these guys aren't the bad guys? <laughs> you there! Who are you? What are you doing here? <laughs> you, oh, I'm sure it's me. Drop your weapons and surrender. Act quickly. Yes! Hmm, he just needs a twirly moustache. <laughs> oh god! Now, the main difficulty of this mission is that we've got to live through the early bit. <laughs> I'd like to see Mist in charge. Now. Our squad. What I want to do is first to give Titania the hand axe immediately, as it will give Titania a ranged weapon, which is very useful. Sorry, have the thief ban. I think that raises st skill and increases skill and speed through great gains. We'll equip it. Um, you know what, Titania. We're not using the fighter band right now, so you may as well equip it. Okay. So, Soren here is a... Uh, where is he? There he is. He is a mage. So, mage is funny enough, you notice his stats. Not very strong! But they use magic, which is where resistance comes in. Because resistance is magic defense. Unfortunately, he's level 1, but he does have the skill Adept, which is one of the best skills in the game, as it grants the unit two consecutive attacks. And the Trinity of Magic... I'm trying to remember how it works. I believe, normally in other Fire Emblem games, it's Anima, which is like nature magic, beats light magic, light magic beats dark magic, and dark magic beats anima magic. But in this it's different. There is only light and anima magic. So, anima magic is split to wind, thunder, and fire. And I believe wind beats thunder, fire beats, um... Uh, thunder beats fire, and fire beats wind, although I could be getting it all wrong. And light magic effectively is the bow. So it's like good against some, but not against all. But so we want to keep Soren alive here, as he becomes quite the powerhouse later on. So we're going to give him the speed wing. Now let's take a peek at the map, because this is a big one. Now, our uh, opponent is Majin, or Majin. He has a javelin, which is effectively the lance equivalent to the hand axe. And it's droppable. Very good. He also has one resistance. So yes, mages tend to be very good at killing units 
which cards, um, which aren't mages. So it has a risk reward mechanic. As you want to keep the mages alive, but you don't want to, but to use some effects, you don't want to put them in too much danger. We have a lootable vulnerary here. Um, let's see what else is there. Okay. I thought that someone had a horse killer, but I guess I misremembered. But yes. Now this mission is going to be difficult because it's actually fairly easy to get completely overrun in this one. Whoops. I want to save first. And reposition. Okay. I think this is a fine start. Yes, let's save. But yeah, as I said, this is the first mission where someone has a real chance of dying. So, let's get to it! Okay. Now, you can attack Soren. So, if I move Soren down here and use the Speedwing... You can still attack him. So, pretty much what we want to do is fall back. Down here, you can in any range units. Iron Arts, Steel Arts, what's your range? Not big enough. Okay. Titania can equip the hand axe to make them attack Titania. I'm confident Shinon can take hits. Gatri can go down here, and I think that is our turn. Shinon should be fine. I can be a bit worried about. Uh, okay, I should be fine. <laughs> this is actually a time when the fact that I can only attack once is a good thing. It means I can control the damage a lot more. I haven't been able to control who fights who. Nicely done, Gatry! Why is Gatry the one able to dodge and yet I can just get hit in the face? Well, there's a the level up I missed for you, Gatry. Sorry about that. Strength and defense. To be honest, it's pretty much a night level ups in a nutshell. Wouldn't mind a bit more skills so we can hit a bit more often, but you know what you're gonna do. Sure, should dodge. There we go. Casual step over to the side. Oh, the arrogance of that one. Yep, yeah, uh, Shinon has no chance of fighting Max, they prioritize Shinon. But, although. Ah, no! I don't think they're actually capable of hurting shit on, so that may not be a smart move in, in the end. I really wish that I could Reese could swap around. Okay, now the archers are moving in. That's worrying. We need to kill the archers. Ooh. Okay, so Titana's basically gonna be my anti-archer. So what uh, Soren's going to do is finish off this guy so we can get some XP up his belt. Now the good thing is if they have if they if they want to attack Soren, they have to put an archer in the way of other combat units, so. I, I think you want to equip the Iron Sword. Potentially Vulnery? I think Vulnery is the right move here. Uh, you're an archer, yes, so you must die. Iron Axe to the face. There we go. And at the moment, I'm more, I'm more than confident in my squad's abilities to take the hits. The archers are the only thing I'm really afraid of right now. Because Shinon should be fine. Should. So let's go and stab him and stab stab this guy. There we go. Get some mad XP. Now let's use a Vulnery on Ike. 
And with the Iron Sword, he should be able to kill one of the guys. Which is useful. And the fact that Sinon's there just soaking up damage, uh, soaking up damage in the boat is very useful for me. That's really... They're not going to kill Shinon anytime soon, so uh, by the time Shinon's in a real danger, we'll be able to have killed the rest of these guys and be able to move on. I don't like that damage on We only have a finite number of Valdoris, you know. Alright, let's see what this guy is. Yeah, that went about as well as I thought it would. Why is he actually the guy double attacking? I know he's a lot of comp, so he doesn't actually take a speed penalty with the lads, but he only has six speed. Oh god, Gatrius is gonna get so much XP here. It's gonna be a massacre. Oh, you tried. Well, now you die. <laughs> well, Gatry's like solving all my problems for me, apparently. You see, if I was against an enemy knight, this is when a caster would be useful. Like Sorry. That's gonna be the Oh, okay, maybe not. <laughs> Because knights typically don't have high resistance. Also, um, units like Myrmidons, which double attack frequently with armor slayers, are also very useful because they're designed to kill armored units. Okay. I think we can start uh, getting on with like clearing up the rest of this stuff. Which is nice. So what we want is to probably have shit on attack this guy, because really one damage isn't going to make all that much of a difference. You and the archer make Ice Life way easier. Oh no, one damage. Dead. I think Shell is very good at training other units. <laughs> Unfortunately for a character who's effectively level 20, what, 22? His, or 21 even? His strength is abysmal. I mean, Titan is not great if you consider Titan to be level 21. So. Let's have Gatry. Roll and poke this guy to death. Or death. Bit more XP. I think this is the first level where I'm just going, God damn it, Ike. Seriously, you need more strength. We go. Yeah. Nice. Is there one which a guy could potentially survive? Uh, how much damage is Sorin doing again? No, no. Oh, Eight. How much damage is Sorin doing again? Seven. Oh, well, that makes life easier. No. Okay, no unnecessary risks. We're just gonna just hit people, I guess. Unfortunately, Sword is equipped with the weakest spell and it's level one. So he's gonna need a bit of trait, he's gonna need like a bit of babying to be real good at the moment. Because he's just not there. Right now. But soon. Oh! Critical Hoot! Oh, I've got the lens flare and everything. Well done, Titana. Go out and just murder that guy. Yeah, it's the time to use a boulder. May as well clear up that space. Okay, I guess. Yeah, no one else needs any healing, so. And if I move reset to heal I he kind of dies, so. That's not happening. Oh no! Well, the good news is Reese is going to get a ton of XP after this. Because I'm going to heal up everyone before dealing with the next wave. And that's effectively what this uh, level is going to be. So let's see. God damn it! Really? 
me something! Well, I mean, I don't think there's any ways to weaken them without them dying, so I guess... I mean, unless Shinnok's capable of, like, hitting this guy. I mean, there's a chance. Let's go for it. Excellent job, Shinon. Your reward shall be your ha your life. Ooh, I thought I screwed up then. Get a bit of wind action. Down he goes. You know one thing I've been surprised which hasn't happened yet? It's why hasn't Nintendo put uh, a GameCube games on the Virtual Console. The, the fact they still haven't done that yet surprises me. Because like, they put Wii games on there. I don't think there aren't that many Wii games, but there are Wii games on there. And it's weird because it's it's like it's, it's as if they don't want money. With what's going on. Ike's getting the heal this turn because Ike's tends to be in the thick of it a bit. Because I imagine having, um... If they release, really say, Super Smash Bros. Melee on the Virtual Console, I think a lot of people want to buy that. I really do. But maybe it's not me to design. Maybe there's, like, some random things which are stopping it from doing it. Although with the Wii games there, and the fact that GameCube's getting the shaft is kind of surprising. Especially since honestly I think the- ah, oh, you bastard shit up. I think the GameCube is an overall better game library than the Wii does on the whole. But that's just me. It's all subjective, whatever. Now, um... Now you can see with all the people using spears why I was a bit miffed I couldn't use Boyd in this mission. Because Boyd is very good against these kind of guys because they're wielding heavy weapons. Uh, what about you? Not the attack. I would do 14. So I could double attack him, right? Yes, you can. Okay, what about Gatry? Okay, Gatry could get, could get this guy. I'll take the safer option right now. There we go. Try to let Sorin go by. Show them the power of the wind! I kind of wish that the wind spell looked like it was doing a bit more damage. It doesn't look very powerful. Oh, there's level 2! Okay, sorry, don't let me down. That is a fine level up. That is completely fine. I am happy with that. I've had so many weird level ups, I'm willing to accept level ups like that. If I hit you with a hand axe, do you know? How about the steel axe? No. No way of risk damaging Ike. Who are these guys moving? I think more importantly was Reese. I can move to Reese. Yeah, I'll let Ike get a bit of XP. He may crit. I mean, 4% is still a percent, right? Right? So you're saying there's a chance. Well, it didn't fire. A bit optimistic, but Ike is getting... Every little bit of XP is going to count in this early game. As it makes the medium game a lot easier. And so you just got to make sure you don't use people like Tanya or Shin on that much. To ensure the weaker people get stronger, because then your unit gets stronger on the whole. Uh, this is how many to say there. 
No one's moving. Excellent. For these, he should be leveling up too. Ah, 12 XP away. That's awkward. But then if I put Gatry here, what weapons do they have? Iron Lance, Iron Bow, Iron Lance. Yeah, they should be able to hurt Gatry. Gatry will be able to soften them up so Ike and Soren can get the kill, and Tata and um, Titania can just run in and kill the um, Archer and run away. I can use Gatry. I think uh, uh, Gatry is capable of doing it too. Depends on if he's boxing or what weapons the other people have. Well, there we go. Oh no, they're attacking Gatry. Whatever shall they do? Oh no! Well, they tried. Level 11. More defense! We don't need to worry about unit promotions for a while, so. But. There are items called Master Seals, which facilitate unit promotions, or in this game and its sequel, Rated Dawn, uh, they do it level 21. Now, um. What ha uh, So they change their class. Yada yada yada. But the level, the minimum level seems to be able to use Master Seals is level 10. Which is why that thought came into my mind. I wonder if there's going to be any more news on the Shin Megami Tensai crossover. Because when I saw that, it blew my mind that such a thing is actually going to happen. And. Well, it's still the fence about whether or not it's actually happening, given that there hasn't been all that many updates. There was a few videos released, but nothing like a release time or anything like that, which is kind of what disappointing. Oh, easy kill for Gatry. One hit is all I need. Ah! God, Gatry's a monster right now. I should be able to finish the... Um... He is able to finish the job, I'm going to need to use boots, which is a shame. God damn it, I... why won't you dodge? Are you just not capable of dodging? At least you got the level up, maybe you'll have fixed that. Well, you'll probably just get magic. Oh my god, a good level up! Although I think Ike's speed is actually quite a bit lower than that than normal when it comes to Ike's at this stage of the, of the game. But that could just be me. It could very well just be me, god damn it, please. Uh, that should be enough for this turn. Ah, uh, they're not moving. Okay. Can you move onto a bush? No. But you shall move here. Actually, you'll move here. I want to control the flow as much as possible. I don't want to have an overwhelming tide of enemies, because that could be... We have two units which we really do not want to have in combat right now. And only three units are actually pretty much are reliably able to counter-attack well. Alright, please. That is a perfectly standard level up for you. Well done. Let's move you over here and end the turn. Alright. I don't think it's gonna end well for him. Just a hunch. But he may be able to dodge. Well, I was referring to the Myrmidon one, but the Gatchery did it too. God, that's insulting. I mean, a guy in all that armor just casually sidestep your weapon. No, oh, that can't feel good. There we go, Soren gets another kill. We want Soren to be good because, as I said, anti knight and also having another range unit which also doubles up as melee unit is useful. 
and when they promote, they can become even more useful. So let's see what their ending range is. Alright, Gashwin, you're moving over here. Yeah. Please, you heal Sorin. Actually, wait. Down here. Actually, wait. No, we'll do it in the standard spot. No, well, down here, so you have the option of running away. You hopefully should be too. But... Sometimes it helps to plan the worst case scenarios. And you know what? I think Titanic can handle these guys. Let's put you there and it could be the Padlax too. Okay. Why are you attacking Titana? Seriously! That's a terrible idea! Well, you tried. And you know what? Trying led to your death. Are you happy? No, you're dead. Nah. God damn it, Titana, you better not hog all the XP here. I pray that is a good faith kind of thing. Well. They'll probably attack Gatry now, which is nice. Oh, I got Valdery, that's nice. Oh, he's slowly getting away! He's coming right at us! Yeah, I blasted mercenaries that are better than I expected. Yeah. Even so, they'll not prove a match for Dane's finest! <laughs> oh, well... I tried, damn it! Sometimes you gotta work with what you got! Well, I think those archers are actually gonna be priority number one. One, because they can't counterattack. And two, because I think every party member can take at least one hit from the boss. Let's just check that. Yeah, he can take the hit. And also the win conditions only defeat the boss, so we may as well defeat the boss. I can have the Regal Sword equipped. Actually, no, I'll have the Iron Sword. We want to save the Regal Sword shots because it's the only one you get in the game. And the ability to repair items is very rare. I believe there's only one item in the game which does that. So there we go. Can Sauron actually kill this guy? Close. Shit not assisted. Can Sauron be able to kill or no? Battery assisted. He stands a shot. So this Gatry doesn't miss. Well done! On. You can finish the job and have- Oh, an Eptic activated! What that means is that he'll get another hit! He'll get to attack again. Which is really useful, however normally this is the time when it activates. Right, I want- I want Soren to hit the boss. But not kill the boss. I want Ike to have the kill. Because Soren's gonna have plenty of time to get XP. Let's see. Oh no, he's attacking Shinon. Whatever shall we do? Watch out, Shinon! He's coming right at you! I didn't get technically hit that time, given that the spear went straight through him. Actually, Soren's only level 2, so we'll see how much damage Shinon does to him first. Let's steal it up. It's maybe one of the few times I've actually used the steel bow. Oh my god! Oh wow, it actually hit! That was unlikely. Okay, Ike, how much damage do you do? Okay, so Ike's a good plan B. As I honestly think Ike's getting a touch over level now. Uh, how about you? How much damage do you do? I advance. I should do a trick. Okay! Gatwick, you get some XP, and they're still 
1% crit happens, and I'll be a bit mad if that does. As far as levels go, I think Ike is fine for now. So it is a bit low. Before I kill this guy and end the level, though. Reese! You're... You can heal someone. Hooray! Heal Gashri. Get that XP. I mean, you may as well. That thing is like 30 shots. Or is it 40? 40 shots. I have 28 left. And when you get the ability to buy items, they are stupidly cheap. You're a major. I'll have to keep my guard up around you, no matter how long you look. Wow, Bloodsong. I like how this guy is just like, we're not defeating him. No, no, no we're gonna kill this guy. Ow, taking the spear like a champ, so are you sure you okay? Well. <laughs> That works. Get that mad boss XP soaring! Woo! Level up! What do we get? Magic speed and defense! God, everyone's def level ups have been weird this time. And we got a javelin! Excellent! Ah. No one's dead! Hooray! <laughs> God damn, we're not able to carry them! <laughs> to be honest, I'm pretty sure Shinon is a player character. Like, if this was a game of D&D, I'm pretty sure most players would be like Shinon. I mean, they even tried to loot the body. Oh my god, it's a bug! Oh. oh no, what is it? <laughs> oh. I mean, this is only like, this is kind of kidnapping. I'm not entirely sure, I mean, she's not exactly consenting though. I mean, what's the legal difference between like rescuing and kidnapping? But anyways! That is enough for this episode. If you liked this episode, feel free to give it a like as it really helps. Uh, if you want to leave a comment, then feel free to leave something if you have any questions or if I missed a secret or anything like that. And if you uh, and if you want to stay up to date with when episodes upload, you can subscribe. And until the next one, I shall see you then. Bye.